For Caitlin and Aaliyah, in what ways do you feel like this team has grown since the early weeks of the season? What, what ways have you improved? Um, I think just being able to have some more practice time and really get to play and get a feel for each other. I think we've just been playing a lot better team basketball. Um, everyone's getting their touches. Everyone's knocking down their shots. Um, and so I think it's just been really great. And also I think our defensive intensity um, has been a focus for us and we're able to use that to spark our offense. No. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. For uh, Caitlin, so 18 points and 12 rebounds, mm -hmm. right? Have you um, ever, well, I'm sure you probably had that many rebounds before, but maybe yeah. not. Have yeah. You? I had, in college, I would get them sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what, how meaningful is that to you uh, that the double double is points yeah. and rebounds? Yeah, I mean, I think I got off to a fast start there in the first quarter. Sometimes the ball just bounces your way a little bit more. Um, and a lot of the times, the people I'm guarding are getting back in defense. So I have a little more free reign of like going and chasing down the ball while. Our bigs are probably boxing out and hitting a little bit more. So, you know, we credit sure to them. Are. We um, sure are hitting a lot more. Sorry, my bad. No, um, but no, I mean, I, I, I think we're really good when I can get it off the rim and push in transition. So I take a lot of pride in trying to chase it down off the rim and then really go. And I think that led to a lot of easy baskets for Aaliyah at the beginning of the game or just all of us in transition. Like, um, you know, I think that's it's a really good thing. But yeah, 12 is, you know, don't get used to it. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, for, for any of you, um, that's three close wins in front of, you know, three good home crowds. I guess how much energy or juice does it give you to have all those thousands of fans um, when crunch time comes? Yeah, it's great. I mean, we feel the energy. Um, we use that to our advantage. Um, they're cheering super loud. Um, and so we're just thankful that they continue to show up and that they're super loud because, I mean, we're, we're playing hard for them, too. This is for all three of you, but three straight wins at home every four, four, four. Well, in this home stand, um, <laughs> yes, correct. So three straight number, wins. Be more specific then. <laughs> <laughs> How does that help your confidence going into the upcoming road games that you guys have? And what stands out to you about this stretch at home? Mm. Oh, I think that us for one being able to perform to a point where we win games in front of you guys is always a plus. Mm -hmm. So we never want to let you down. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think me individually or us as a group want to, you know, see you guys look in the crowd and we just, y'all got long faces. So we take pride in wanting to win a game, obviously. We take pride in our city and, you know, in the people that's representing us. Um, so I think it, it fuels us, you know, it, it kind of give us a pick me up um, or whatever we need as a group. Um, I do think this energy is important going on this stretch because um, down the stretch of these game, it, it's going to get mucky, it's going to get ugly. And I think if we can handle adversity and or, you know, be a part of or deal with any crowd that comes our way, I think down the stretch of games when it gets really competitive and gritty, we, we come out with the win still. So I think it'll be a learning experience, um, but I think we can feel it. Yeah, I would agree. I think, you know, these were important games and I'm proud of us. I felt like we took it one game at a time. We never looked too far ahead. And I think that's the same thing with this next stretch of five, five straight row games. You just got to go one game at a time. And the next two are versus teams that we played in the last week. So they're certainly going to want some revenge, but also, um, you know, I feel like the confidence that we've been able to build from the last three games is, you know, continue to take a step forward and, and learn each game. And, you know, if we, if we do happen to lose one, how are we going to respond? Um, I think that's been a big thing for us too. The last game we lost, we found a way to respond and, you know, string off three straight wins. So I think we've gotten a lot better over the course of these last three games and it's just continuing to build on that. Aaliyah, uh, during this homestand, it seems like you and Caitlin have found a lot of chemistry in the pick and roll game. Mm -hmm. How much does that help you guys offensively to have kind of an action that you guys feel you can get to and get a good shot from? Yeah, great. Um, I think Caitlin does a great job of finding me um, and also understanding when she can get her shot out of the pick and roll as well. I think that's something that we've just continued to build over um, games and practices and just continue to get a feel for each other. And so I'm super excited of where it's at now. But also I think a big part of that is Caitlin with the ball in her hand. She talks to me a lot and she tells me do this or do that. And so I'm just trying to make sure I get to those spots because I know she can hit me. Mm.